Hiya fellow gardeners, welcome to Garden with Jenny. I'm Jenny. Today's episode is the first in a series that I'm going to be doing called Fun Project Friday. Today I'm bringing you these cute little pots that you can decorate, you know, to keep and put your plants in. They're pretty cute. Pretty cute stuff. Um, so you can get all this stuff from a local um, craft store. And they're relatively cheap. One of the ones that was around my house is going out of business. So I went and I got, I went with a friend of mine. And we were able to get quite a bit of stuff for like a little bit of money. So like these are the markers. They're garden craft terracotta pot markers. They're really cool. You shake them up. You push the cap. Or sorry, not the cap. The, the pen tip down until you get the color at the pen tip like that and then you can just go ahead and paint or draw essentially on any kind of pot you want so I did one like this with some flowers and some vines pretty cute stuff you can get really creative with it um, there's this one that I did a cute little country scene there's a sun and a tree and some shrubs and stuff and then I've got a blank one here just to kind of demonstrate in a few minutes um, basically how to do it it's not hard at all um, but these markers like I said they're the garden craft terracotta pot markers they're from Marvi Uchida they're pretty cool markers um, really easy to use they kind of they kind of remind me of chalk they kind of look like chalk but they're not chalk it's I don't even know what the thing is opaque water-based acrylic is what that is. So I got a bunch of different colors, a light blue, a yellow, a black, a dark blue, a green, there's the green, a white, and a red. And you can do all different kinds of designs, whatever your heart can create, whatever your mind can create, and the passion of creativity that this can bring to you in your house while um, doing really cute activities with your little kids and stuff. So. It's a really cool idea, you know, to do and stuff like that. Um, so there's a couple of different ways you could do it if you wanted. You could trace on a design with a cool stencil. I went out and bought these stencils from the same art store that was closing. I think they might have like cost me like one or two dollars for like a set of three. And these are just like butterflies and flowers, grass and stuff like that. These are typically stencils you would use on like the wall when you do painting. But you know, some of this some of these were small enough, like, whoops, whoops, I just threw that at you. Um, like these, there's a cloud there, thank you. Thank you, cameraman, boyfriend. You know, he really does all the work of this. Yeah, there he is, there he is. He really does a lot of work for this channel, he helps me out a lot. So give him a round of applause. Woo! Um, so basically, you have grass, flowers, butterflies, and clouds, and then these cool little diamonds that you can put all over your pots. Actually, the flowers are what I used. These flower stencils are what I used for this design. Pretty cool. Um, this I created on my own. I didn't use any stencils at all for this. So really, you could do whatever you wanted, um, as long as your mind will, you know, let you do it. Um, it's fun. And instead of like what I used, to, what I did was, I would hold this up to the side of the container like so, and basically I traced it with pencil first took the stencil and I threw it away because, you know, it just didn't mean anything after I traced down the designs. And then I took the markers and I just colored them in and stuff like that. So it's really, really easy to do. Um, the only thing that I want to say about these markers is when you put one layer down, that better be the color you want to keep it. That's the only downfall. Um, it gets a little hard when you overlap colors. So right now I'm just going to basically do one up for you and you know I'll catch you in a minute so basically here I'm gonna do a little design for you really easy look at that oh it makes a really unattractive noise when you do it but they're really easy to use um, sometimes you want to push it down and it'll like loosen the paint up a little bit and then you know just go oh, see that sucked um, they must have dried up a bit since the last time I used them definitely cool though so you can do like 
thick lines, thin lines. Work it all in there. These are not showing up as well as they should be. It's really depressing that they're not showing up better. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's that. And then, you know, you can do whatever. You can take this and push it down a piece of paper so you get the paint going better. And then you can just... See, it's overlapping in the black, which doesn't look too bad right now, but if you see there, it's scraped off a little. But, you know, for a cute little project, you can't really go wrong. And then we're gonna take this green, push it down on a piece of paper, and then you're gonna basically draw a t-shirt. It's a green t-shirt, you know, because that's just the way we roll in the horticulture profession. Green is the way to go. Um, so, just gonna do that, and, um, she doesn't really have a neck, but I don't really care right now. <laughs> she doesn't have a neck, and they're gonna dry, they're gonna dry a lighter than what they look like when they're being put down, so don't, don't fret, just, just, just so you know, just, Put some of that down. I mean, look at how easy it is to put color down with these. It's really fast and quick, and then, you know, you can go and take your bow. Oh, hello. Don't roll away. And you put the black on. You can put some shoes on her like this. That sucked. smile because she's in the horticulture industry so you can do a lot of fun stuff you can put some birds in here you know a little cute stuff that kids can have fun with and everything and it's just it's a really fun project that you can do and really there's no mess at all really I mean just if you get it on your hand but other than that no mess really quick and fun for all the kids to do so that's that's that and until next time stay green folks